tell you, we're gonna have a different approach tonight. So I was just driving down to the boat launch, and right down there, I saw a big old bass chasing minnows. Well, it looked big from the road up here. It is super shallow down through here. So I'm gonna walk up here, drop down, and then we're gonna wade downstream to that one spot I usually fish. This all happened probably a minute, two minutes ago. So I don't know if he's still around. But tonight I'm gonna be throwing the Hasdong Shad. And I have it on a 16th ounce North Branch Tackle little ball head jig here with this, the bait keeper screw lock on there. I'm going ultra finesse tonight. These bass just move so quickly. They come in, chase bait, and they're just gone. Have about 45 minutes to a half hour daylight left. Let's see what we can make happen in a short time. I do know it's not very deep down through here. I'm gonna make some casts just in case. I mean, it's not uncommon for big bass to be in shallow water. So I definitely don't wanna just walk right through here. Look at that. I just got done saying that. It's not a giant bass, but it's a bass. First nice one of the night, healthy one. That's wild too. This is right where that guy in the boat just came out of. There's another one. Pretty sure that guy that came out of here fly fishes for muskie. So hopefully he gets on one. And if he watches the channel, shout out to you, man. I hope you get on one. Another one. Forgot I had these Hasdong shads and I saw them and I was like, I am absolutely throwing this tonight. I had that winnow paddle tail by Nico. That's a great bait. This is just something super small, super finesse. And these bass in my area are definitely eating the smaller minnows. I mean, I'm sure they're eating river chubs and everything else, but if there's bass around, they are going to munch this little minnow. I mean, definitely shouldn't have an issue with them just slapping at it. Small as this thing is, they should be able to fit it right in their mouth. I know everyone's talking about how low the river is. And I couldn't agree more with you. It's absolutely low. Well, one thing I encourage is get some waders on and get out. I mean, I get it. Unless you have a small John boat or a kayak, it's tough. And even then, it's still tough. But one thing you can't beat is putting some waders on and just walking. Because then you can find those little holes, those little deep drop-offs and stuff. You can fish still have to eat. Oh, I just missed one. And they're still going to be swimming around eating, especially in the fall time, getting ready for winter. As long as you get out there and make some casts, you're definitely bound to catch something. Another one just jumped on there. I heard it. I was trying to rig up my minnow here a little bit better. I think I got that on camera. Couldn't see what it was, but I heard it. Saw one jump beside me. Didn't know he was that little. Oh my gosh. There is bass going absolutely crazy right down there. I mean, it's far. It's like a quarter mile. I think I might give it. They're still going nuts. I think I'm going to get down there. Make some casts. They are going ballistic down there. Look at this, guys. They don't look big. This looks like a fun time. There's just so many of them blowing up everywhere. Even down there, too. The crazy part is, this is like ankle deep right here. Look at that. I don't know where to cast. Just right in the midst of them. Oh, oh. I saw that one come up for it. 
Hey, this is so fun. When they're in a school like that too, it's even better because they race each other to try to eat it. Let's see how many we can get out of here. Oh, right into its mouth. This is a better one. Makes me wonder how many are in here right now. Oh, I just got clobbered. Messed up my plastic. All right, we're just gonna quickly rig this back on here. Nothing pretty. All right, we gotta throw another plastic on. This one is destroyed. Comes one. See their weight coming after it? Oh. You ripped my tail off. I wonder if I can just jig it and get one. Goodness. It's coming after it still. Oh! I don't even have a paddle tail on this anymore. I'm literally just jigging freaking Ned rig, basically. Oh, I really wish I had a fluke with me. Oh, there was one coming towards it. Dude, this is intense. This is awesome. I think we need another paddle tail on. The worst part is, I'm about out of these two. I have like three left. Other, oh no, that felt like a nice one. You see, didn't bite my tail off. I'm being all funky now. There's one. Not the biggest bass, but just hardy and healthy, that's for sure. Just trying to play around and see if whenever they're coming at it, if I should speed it up or slow it down. Oh, there's something nice down there swimming around. Something swimming around this rock right in front of me too. If it being so shallow, you can just see their wake from them. There's something hanging out right down there by that rock. I mean, it's casted right on its head. I have a leaf stuck on my lord, and they're still coming after it. There we go, right by the rock. Literally right against it. Oh, and there's like three or four with him swimming away. Oh, he pulled off. That was a really nice one, too. Oh, he's got some buddies over there. I mean, I couldn't have cast it any closer to that rock without MS casting on top of it. Other one, again, right in front of the rock. That's a nice one. Biggest one yet tonight. Oh man. That is a stud. Holy cow. Goodness. Go from catching dinks right there to look at that one. I did not expect that to be right beside that rock. I was gonna say, I feel like the first one I caught, 
that I just lost right there was definitely as big as this one. That is a beauty. If you guys can see them, I know there's hardly any light, but that is a gorgeous fish right there. Thanks for the fight, bud. Way to end the night. And that, boys and girls, is why you don't give up and keep making casts. So I just lost that one right beside that rock. Casty beside it, got his buddy.